Hi guys and welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the esophagus. Let's start off with a bit of information first. The esophagus commences at cervical vertebra 6. Passes through the diaphragm at the level of thoracic vertebra 10. And joins with the cardia of the stomach at thoracic vertebra 11. It is posterior to the trachea the bronchi the pericardium It starts off lateral to the aorta then it moves anterior to the aorta and finally ends up being medial to the aorta. It is composed of muscle, which is longitudinal and gives a streaky appearance. It is lined with non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Vagus nerve travels with the esophagus and forms the vagal plexus. It has a number of sphincters. The upper one is formed by the cricopharyngeus muscle. And the lower one is formed via the right cruise. It has a number of constrictions. The first is at the esophageal inlet. And this is behind the cricoid cartilage. The second is at the arch of the aorta and also via the left bronchus. And the last is where it pierces the diaphragm, and this is called the esophageal hiatus.
So here we have our trachea, our aorta and our aortic arch and behind that is the esophagus and it's poking out just here. So our first constriction and our first sphincter are up here. Our second constriction is right around here. And then we have another one here. And finally we have our last constriction here. And our sphincter would be here. This is the right cruce and the esophagus is passing through the diaphragm at the level of this thoracic vertebra 10. Here we have the aorta passing underneath the median arcuate ligament at the level of the thoracic vertebra 12. So our first sphincter was caused by the cricopharyngeus muscle. And our first constriction was behind the cricoid cartilage. Our second constriction was behind the arch of the aorta. And we had another constriction caused by the left primary bronchus. And our last constriction was caused by the esophageal hiatus. The lower sphincter was caused by the right cruce. The streaky muscles of the esophagus help with peristaltic contractions. And this is the way in which the bolus moves down the esophagus. And peristaltic contractions are wave-like contractions. And this is where one part of the muscle is relaxed, yet another part is contracted. And this enables the bolus to move down the esophagus. And that about wraps it up for the esophagus. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back and learn a bit more about the human body. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.